today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my chicken and rice soup. Um, I like to make this in the slow cooker as I do with a lot of soups because I just feel like it has a better flavor and it's just a lot easier not having to stand over the stove. So first I'm going to start with just one tablespoon of Lando Lakes whipped butter. My um, slow cooker does have the saute function. So if yours does not have that, you can saute your veggies on the stove or you can just completely skip that ske uh, step and just throw them right into the crock pot. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get the butter in there and just get that kind of melted. And now that it's ready, I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies. I have a half cup of carrots, a half cup of celery, and half of an onion. And I just diced all those up. Um, just a rough chop. So once I get that in there, I'm just going to give it a good stir. That way it gets incorporated with the butter. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let that saute for about three minutes. Now that that's been sauteing, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of salt and pepper. I am going to be using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I feel like it gives it a really good flavor, but if you're wanting to get the points lower, you can definitely use just chicken breast. Um, I've done that before. It still tastes great. I just, I don't know, I really prefer to have the boneless, skinless chicken thighs in a lot of my soups. So I'm going to go ahead and get those put in there. I have about, I think it was maybe like one and a third pounds here. So I'm just going to uh, put those in there and then I'm going to add my chicken broth. I have three of these big containers of chicken broth. So it comes out to 12 cups of chicken broth total. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour that on top. We won't be adding the rice until the last hour. Um, so you're not going to see that yet. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put a pinch of thyme in here. And then I have one tablespoon of flat leaf Italian parsley that I just chopped up. So I'm going to go ahead and add that on top. And then I like to use bay leaves in a lot of my soups, so I'm just going to add one bay leaf to it. And then we'll get the lid put on there, and I'm going to cook this on low for eight hours. Um, the very last hour of cooking is when you want to add in your rice and cut up your chicken. So now that I have about an hour left, I'm just going to go ahead and get those chicken thighs out and get those um, just kind of chopped and shredded up. Now that I have the shredded, I'm just going to go ahead and put that back into the slow cooker or crock pot, whatever you'd like to call it. And then I'm just going to add one cup of white rice. Now, if you're on purple, it would be really great to be able to use brown rice in here because it wouldn't count. Um, but I like white rice, so that's what I'm going to use. So just one cup of white rice. And I'm going to let that cook for one more hour. Now I'm just checking to make sure it looks done. I do like to keep an eye on my rice just to make sure it's not getting overcooked. Um, but it actually looks pretty good, so I think it is ready to serve. Okay, so the breakdown on this is you get 13 servings. It's one and a half cups, and each, servings, each serving is three points on all plans. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really great low-point soup. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.